Good, man. How you doing? Good, thank you. Uh, my name is Alec Toombs. I'm here with the Film Yap out of Indianapolis, Indiana. I am here today with Chris Von Hoffman, writer, producer, and director of Devil's Wor Workshop, which uh, stars Timothy Granaderos, Rada Mitchell, and Emil Hirsch. The movie will be available in select theaters and on VOD beginning this Friday, September 30th. Chris, thank you for your time. Thank you for your time, sir. Uh, I really enjoyed Monster Party and uh, Fabiphobia. I might mispronounce that. Your segment oh, um, of phobias. Yeah, that's a, yeah, the bane of my existence with that with the name of that segment, Aphibophobia. Okay, yeah. um, which was my favorite segment of that movie, honestly. Awesome. Um, Devil's Workshop, while still playing in the horror milieu, feels like a very different film from you. Uh, what compelled you to make it? Um, well, um, I. Uh, I, you know, I was, I, I studied acting for a while. Um, I, uh, um, I, I'd always, I, I always had this concept of this guy doing research, um, for a role and, uh, people always seemed to respond to that concept because it was a very makeable idea and it was kind of a, just very simple. There's something very pure and simple about it and kind of classy and throwbacky about it. And, um, and, uh, and I was at a point in my career where I was just like, I need to sort of kind of start from the ground up and make a film that was just super simple and kind of go back to my roots. And, uh, and so I, um, kind of purged myself and wrote this thing, um, around like, or the early stages of the pandemic in 2020. And, um, um, so, I mean, it really came from a lot of uh, emotional, um, uh, it came from a lot of emotion, uh, just where my career was at at the time and, uh, kind of came from like some meta stuff, but but um but I, I you know i love like the you know i have a theater background i love like the world of actors and you know i, I just uh, most of my friends are actors uh so i just kind of uh, i always kind of appreciate the the um and i i certainly have had friends that have done you know reached out to people through like craigslist or whatever to do sure. like re meet up with strangers for research and, and very bizarre things you know so it's just cool to make a, a weird little film uh, centering on that <laughs> Very cool. Um, what movie served as inspiration for Devil's Workshop? Um, uh, that's. Uh, I mean, like, I, I mean, like, there there were a couple there were a couple different films. I mean, like, I guess like Angel Heart was a, a film that I was thinking of at one point. Um, uh, you know, Hellraiser a little bit, like the original uh, okay. Hellraiser. You know. Um, I mean, but like, it was more just like a fundamental kind of, uh, uh, you know, the subgenre of like 70s kind of classic horror, you know, like where like sure. the words driven by gore and violence, they were kind of more atmospheric and kind of more character based and like the, Omen, like, the, I mean, the, the original Omen was pretty violent, but like, you know, just, just kind of like the Rosemary, you know, that kind of classic 70s type of horror films, uh, or sure. like early eighties a little bit. Um, you, you mentioned earlier that you were an actor before becoming a director. Uh, how does this color the way you work with actors? And do you see this as an asset? Um, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I yeah, I mean, I, I think, uh, yeah, I guess I consider myself to be like an actor's director. I mean, I think, um, uh, you know, I did, I did not go to film school, so I don't, uh, um, I, I think I, but I did study acting. Uh, so I think I, I can communicate with, uh, with actors pretty well and, uh, and understand like when to kind of, step in when to back off and, and kind of give them that flexibility and, and, and it communicate to them uh, pretty well. Um, uh, so yeah, I, I think it's, I, I think it's a benefit, uh, the experience I've had in the past. I think a lot of filmmakers don't seem to not really enjoy working with actors. Um, sure. Hate your mark and get out of my way pretty much. Yeah, I, mean, I, I never, I don't know. I, I never, I mean, but like, I, like everybody's different. I mean, uh, sure. you know, uh, I mean, Emil Hirsch told me that when he was working with Gus Van Sant on Milk, he said Gus Van Sant never even spoke to him on, on set, really. So, so everybody, but then he gets great performances. So it's like, I don't, I don't know what sure. the, you know, it's like everybody has their own style. My uh, favorite scene in the movie involves Emil Hirsch's deliciously douchey Donald uh, interrogating Sarah Coffey's Nikki while uh, Brooke Ramirez's Petra watches on. Um, mm -hmm. The scene is great, not only because of the actors' performances, but because the viewer has no idea where it's going to go next. Um, I think this trend is indicative also of the movie as a whole. Is this unpredictability something you strive for in your writing on this project? Uh, yeah, I mean, like, um, 
you know, part of me is like craving to make something just super straightforward and like a really like linear straightforward movie. But it's like, I, I, you know, I feel like to do something like that, I feel like someone else would have to, I would have to collaborate with someone else writing the script. Cause like for me to actually like write something like that is kind of uh, tricky because I, every time I like write something, I mean, I just kind of want to, um, you know, like I just saw Barbarian recently and I was like, yeah, sure. like that's a really kind of exciting kind of, you know, I, I like that kind of storytelling and or like X, you know, where it just kind of, you know, continuously uh, uh, goes to different directions. And, um, and it's it just, you know, because like, it's so hard to like hold a modern audience's like attention today because they're so like driven by like YouTube and TikTok and, and all these different things. So it's like, it, I, I, I think, I, I think like the only way to really, you know, move forward with like storytelling is that you just kind of kind of have to go nuts and just kind of like break the rules and and just kind of really maintain like that entertainment and keep on reinventing the movie's pacing uh, as it moves forward. Sure. Um, I was unfamiliar with Timothy Granaderos prior to seeing Devil's Workshop, but was impressed by his performance. Uh, how did he become attached to the project? Um, he, uh, I have a friend, uh, uh, my friend Lucas Gage um, had recommended him to me because they both worked on a show called Tagged. Um, uh, a while back and uh and he recommended uh, he sent the script to tim and then i zoomed with tim and, and tim you know he read it pretty quickly and and uh and yeah i mean he was attached to it for like um like god like four four months or so before we had ended up shooting because like you know it, it's always like a, such a scary thing you know when like actors are attached and and you know there's so there's so many like someone could sneeze and something could fall apart. So it's like, it's a very like frustrating process. And I feel really bad for him because I, you know, he was like, oh, we're going to shoot in December. Are we going to shoot in February? Are we never shooting in March? You know, like, and, and, you know, but he just was so committed to it the whole time. And, uh, and really, uh, and, and, you know, he was just, um, yeah, that, yeah. I mean, I, I talk to him all the time. I mean, like he, he's, Tim's the man. I mean, he, he's really, you just like whatever whatever you need i mean he just like went all the way for it he was like yeah i'm down to get weird down to get naked <laughs> like i'm down, yeah. I'm down to do whatever there were, there were <laughs> yeah. certainly instances of the movie that would require some bravery uh, yeah. <laughs> eliza is a very different character for rada mitchell who often yeah. plays heroines or maybe the spouse of a male hero of a movie um what is about her previous work that made you think she'd be a good fit for the role um, well, it's like, you know, like Rodham Mitchell's like one of those actresses that she's always been like really solid, you know, like her whole career, like starting with like high art all the way to like, even like that movie Rogue about the giant crocodile, and, like Man on Fire. She's always been like really solid, but, but, um, but, you know, I, I guess like, I, I guess there was just something about her filmography that maybe like hasn't, like hadn't made her jump out in a colorful way that like, I think that, cause like she's, she, she played a lot of like, um, yeah, heroic characters and like protagonists and, and like, I remember talking to her on the phone. She was like, uh, she was like, uh, really excited about playing an evil character because she hasn't really played, you know, any evil characters. They'd always been like the mother or like the, the wife or the, 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 um, the girlfriend or whatever. And, uh, but she's always been good in all those films. And I also like, you know, her being Australian sort of like earns points for me because like, I just, I'm obsessed with like Australian culture and like, Aussie Plotation and, and she's done a few of those and working with like Greg McLean and so like I knew I knew that she had that in her sure. and, and it was also kind of like a debate whether she was going to use her Australian accent or not but ultimately we ended up going with that because she was just sounded a lot more relaxed in it um, but yeah I mean I, I just like was I, I just found it exciting that she hadn't done it was like kind of playing against type but but uh, I, I just like that when actors haven't really done something like that as opposed to an actor that's done all those kind of roles already. And this is just sure. another one of those, you know? Um, as I mentioned before, Hirsch's character, Donald is just a complete and total douche, Yeah, but it's his, his presence uh, that makes devil's workshop uh, more than just a horror movie. It's also very much like a Hollywood satire. Yeah. Um, is this simply the way you wrote the character or did Hirsch who's been in the business since he was a fairly young kid, bring a lot to the table in creating Donald? Uh, yeah, no, he, he no, it, it was a collaboration. He, he he certainly brought some stuff. Uh, he definitely brought some uh, some improv in there, and and uh, yeah, no, no, he definitely had some. Uh, I mean, the fundamentals of it was always on the page. I mean, it was pretty straightforward. But yeah, he definitely uh, uh, brought some stuff to it for sure. Um, and you know, I mean, he's he's just uh, you know, because like, I mean, you know, the, 
I think, I, I think everybody kind of has a Donald or, or a few in their life, you know, and, and, and where, when I was talking to him on the phone for the first time, he was like, Oh yeah, I know a lot of Donald's. I, I've met a lot of Donald's and, and um, you know, but you know, it's like one of those people that like, they, they're, they're so good at, like self-promotion and, and kind of being a political campaign worker on Twitter and promoting themselves. And, but when you actually see the work, I mean, they're pretty, they're pretty kind of mediocre. So it, sure. it's kind of like that. That's kind of what he represents. You know? All sizzle, no steak. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, what's next for you if you're at Liberty to say? Uh, yeah, there's two scripts right now. Uh, one was written by a woman that I did not write, but I'm kind of like working with her right now to uh, rewrite it. Um, it's around the same kind of size as Devil's Workshop. Uh, deals with a, it's like an OnlyFans centered thriller, um, kind of like an erotic uh, uh, story and um, uh, dealing with OnlyFans. And then there's another script that's um, that I did write um, that's a bit bigger. Uh, it's like kind of like a sniper cat and mouse. Not a, I mean, it's horrifying, but it's not not really a horror film. I mean, neither of them are really horror films. They're kind of more like kind of thrillers thrillery maybe yeah yeah oh those both sound interesting uh chris i i thank you again for your time today the movie is devil's workshop and it'll be in the select theaters and on vod this friday september 30th thank yeah. you so much for your time